from, from Screen Shelf. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of From Screen to Shelf. This is Gabe. I'm here with my partner in crime, Chase, and we are here to talk about our most wanted, most coveted 4K discs that ha- that are not in existence yet mm-hmm. for whatever reason. Um, and some of these are kind of crazy, man. I think you and I were talking before uh, we were rolling as to how many titles <laughs> are not on 4K that we still want. Yeah. Um, and, and some of them are mind-blowing. I, I mean, we have a list here of like, probably like, four or five that we maybe want to talk about um and kind of dive into uh but there are just so many and i think we see it too on the on the reddit we see so many people posting all these titles that they want that you know still aren't out for whatever reason but Mm -hmm. we thought it'd be cool just to kind of talk about some titles that we are really keeping an eye out for and that we really want to see on 4k um so i will actually pass it on to chase he actually has one that he wants to talk about first and we'll just kind of go back and forth a little bit with some titles that we really want to see on 4k so chase take it away man so what's the first one on your list that's like your most like top most coveted 4k title that you want out right now absolutely and i think i'm gonna end up like covering almost two birds with one stone because i know i can't pick between these two so i gotta just bring them both up at the same time because like it's just they're literally both my most wanted 4ks in existence um, and it might even scratch something off of your list, but that's going to be the original Tron, and that's going to be the original Planet of the Apes. I need both of them <laughs> announced on the same day. <laughs> you can't pick which one's more more of no. a priority, though. The thing I will say is, like, I would if I had to pick one, I'd say Tron, just because of the fucking HDR would look. Oh my god, man! Oh yeah, that's true. I thought I It'd thought you would say test. Planet of the Apes. Like, if if I had to, if someone because I I love Tron as well, but if I had mm-hmm. to pick, I'd probably say Planet of the Apes. As a better movie, for sure, but I think that the original Tron would probably be a reference quality disc. For sure. I get, yeah. I mean, I, I think the, the original, too. Yeah, I mean, Planet Apes, I mean, it, you know, if the transfer came out, because, I mean, it, it could look like something like, you know, like 2001 mm-hmm. or Indiana Jones, just like those yeah. old school movies shot on film that are just like, you know, they look like they were shot yesterday. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I'd probably go for Planet of the Apes, but you said, like, you can't pick, right? So it's mm-hmm. Tron or Planet of the Apes. Yeah. Let's let's start with Tron then. Color. Yeah, let's <laughs> yeah, start let's, with Tron. Yeah. Let's start with Tron. So tell me about why you chose Tron. It's really, man, that was like a movie I grew up with and absolutely loved. I don't like the second one. Is the Evolutions? Is that the second one? Tron uh, Evolution? Whichever the other one. I know that has a rumored 4K and then it came out to be that it might be just a digital release on D plus and stuff like that. Whichever one it is, that, that movie is going to be a, a, a Did a it always movie. have that subtitle Evolution? Tron, no, no, it was Tron Legacy. The Tron Legacy, my bad. Yeah, that's what it is. Evolution, yeah, it was like, what was Evolution? That was the that a that was a video show? game. Oh, it's Maybe. a video game. Yeah. Oh, is yeah. it Evolution? Is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that game slapped. By the way, because <laughs> I definitely <laughs> We're throwing video up. game recommendations. <laughs> <laughs> that game slapped. I actually so, have it yeah. over Tron, here on my shelf. Tron Legacy, right? So that's yeah. the, you. you I mean, that's the room. Talk one. about that one. Yeah, we can talk yeah. about that one here in a little bit. But I mean, the original. So you grew up on the original Tron. Yeah, and I I just think with like the HDR color palette will just make that pop, especially it's oh, got yeah. some very dark scenes. So the dark contrast with the the, the bright vibrancy, um, I just think that that it would just be an immaculate disc, especially whenever they go into the programming and then you have the light cycles and stuff mm-hmm. like that. It would just look insane, and it's got some really good modern elements to it. Like before they get into the program, I think even that will jump out, look good. The soundtrack or like the the sound design will sound good especially when they're throwing the discs and stuff like that. oh dude if they did a atmos track It'd for that killer. that'd be really really cool yeah because yeah. like a lot of like the action scenes would actually turn out to be fantastic and yeah. and i agree with you that that's the first thing i think about with tron is just like the contrast with like you know how a lot of the scenes are dark but when you get you know like them actually you know like throwing the disc or on the bikes mm-hmm. and stuff like it's just that and that's what makes that movie so beautiful to look at it's just that contrast yep. with the bright colors and you know the the kind of murky tone of the world itself 
Yeah, exactly. And that's going to be like, that probably has to be my number one other than like, it's really close for my second. Um, but yeah. And then it, it, the character, develop, it's just, it's just, it's a great movie. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I just love it. The The Blu-ray looks okay. Um, I think I picked it up. Mm -hmm. It goes religiously on sale for like three or four bucks with additional. Yeah. Code I've seen it. it in bargain bins before. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's like, um, it's just, it's, God, it's just such a good movie. <clears throat> it's really good. I'm excited for the new one coming out. Legacy is going to look great whenever it hits 4K, whether it's digital or whether it's physical. I'm assuming yeah. they'd have to do both at that point. With Sony having, you know, like the the, the physical media reigns for Disney now, I that has to be on the top of their list, man. That yeah, dude, that There's would no look way. fantastic if they took that over for sure. Yeah. I was always murky. I know you you and Will had talked about it because I was I think I was working when you guys did that podcast, but um. So is Sony taking over like the actual transfers themselves or just distribution? So we found conflicting information. I think that Disney is supposed to keep doing them mm. um, in-house, but it just depends on what is yeah. done because Disney has already worked on certain things and then they're just going to publish it and distribute it from there. But then there's going to be ones that like if they haven't done Tron already, then they're going to pick it up and then do it themselves. Okay. Which if that, that's yeah, the case, if Sony, Sony did it, that'd yeah. be great. Yeah, that'd yeah. be freaking fantastic. Because Disney's just hit and miss for me, man. I mean, they mm -hmm. they have some discs that look really, really great. Um, but then a lot of them kind of are lazy. Like, I mean, like mm -hmm. they did a great job with Prey. You know, I were kind of talking oh, yeah. about Prey a, a while back. I think they knocked it out of the park with that. But you know, some of their Marvel discs look kind of you know for subpar. how much money they pour into yeah, into Marvel. Like some of them look subpar. So yeah, I agree. hopefully Sony that that would be a dope I, that'd be a day one for sure for me yeah. at least if they if they did that and give me a nice steel book too a glossy oh, one. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. With the the discs or the motorcycles on it, man, that'd be super sick. Yeah, that'll look really good. Um, but yeah, that that would be my first one. Tron, just love that movie in general. What would be your first one? First one. See, I have a list here, dude. This is so my top one for sure. And it, it, I mean, we did the versus video, and you saw it. it it's no country for old men, dude. Oh hell like yeah! It, yeah, it's just. I mean, that movie. I mean, it's it's close to my heart, but also, I think that it it's shot on film and it just looks so crisp. It's it's one of those like, I think we we're talking about it with Tenet too. That it's like it's shot on film, but it's just so clean the way it's done. Like I think yeah. that it would just look immaculate on 4K. And I think the yeah. HDR too, with like a lot of the desert scenes um, and a lot of the scenes that are also at night. Cause like, you mm -hmm. know, when sugar is like shooting, you know, shooting from like the hotel window and they're having that gunfight in the small town when it's dark. Like, I think that it just has the ability to be like one of the top tier discs for sure. And it, and it's just shocking dude, that it's not, I, I don't know what's going on with that. Cause I think that's a paramount. It was like, what was it paramount vintage release or something like that when it came out? Say. Yeah. yeah something say. along those lines. And I don't know how that, I mean, that's like, well, I mean, it won so many freaking awards. It's, you know, one of the most coveted movies of like the last two decades, and we still don't have a 4K for it. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I think it's just, you know, the it, it it's an interesting, visually, it's an interesting movie just because you have a, a lot of contrast with desert scenes and then a lot of night scenes as well. Um, and then the fact that it's just shot on film, I think it could really bring out like a huge uptick with the resolution. I, I honestly think it could be one of the, it could be like a transfer quality or a reference quality disc. Um, I agree. It, it's it's something that I've just been looking out for, dude, for years. I mean, honestly, I've been looking for this movie on 4K since I started collecting on 4Ks. And it's 2024 and we still do not have No Country for Old Men, which is kind of mind boggling to me. Um, but yeah, man, Coen Brothers, you can't go wrong. And I, I don't know if there's I'm trying to think off the top of my head. I mean, Fargo was great trying to think of other coen brother releases that have come out that have actually you know like big done lebowski. pretty well big lebowski you know what i mean yeah. I, I think that you know a lot of their films translate well to, to 4k um it's just kind of weird i mean do, do you know about like the like so the, i think there it was paramount vintage right vantage yeah vantage i always call it vintage i yeah. don't know why um yeah, paramount there, vantage. there are a lot of films from paramount vantage that aren't out on 4k i think right yeah, I don't really know like their entire background, but didn't didn't the Coen Brothers on that subject? Didn't they do Blues Brothers? Is that them? I, I think so. With Dan Aykroyd know. and stuff. Yeah, because that one has a 4K too. I don't have that one. I've actually never seen that movie. Um, so I've heard good things about it. I think that's the one with Dan Aykroyd, not Bill Murray. Uh, uh, let me see here. Oh yeah, Blues Brothers film. No, that was directed by uh, John Landis. 
Oh, you're yeah. right. You're right. You're right. Yep. Yep. Same guy that did parts of the Twilight Zone movie. He did mm-hmm. Kentucky Fried movie. He did um, what else did that guy do? His biggest movie. Um, I really, really like Schlock. That's my favorite movie by his. Oh, I've buddy. heard of that. I've never seen it though. Yeah, it's 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 like a King Kong comedy, and it's just so stupid funny. It's one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. It's so good. Um, but yeah, they've got a lot. Um, they they have a few on 4K, at least for Coen Brothers, and it's just like I I think with Coen Brothers, they've they've you know they've moved to so many different studios when they've made their movies um that it's kind of mm-hmm. hard almost like tarantino in a way i think i mean tar- tarantino's kind of stuck with sony recently but um you know throughout the coen brothers career they've really gone through a lot of different studios and i think that's just making it kind of harder to you know pin down what 4ks are going to come out and when and i think no country for old men is is one of those but it, it's just weird how you know some of these movies like i mean like you mentioned tron i mean that's a classic as well and it's like how is this not out one. yeah <laughs> like how, how have you guys title. not yeah I, yeah I don't understand it and i think that's you know i mean obviously we're not in the 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 heads of these studios and you know especially with the way physical media is now and the way they're treating it i i don't know if it's a priority uh but no country for old men i mean this has been rumored for years man every every few years i hear it's coming out this year it's coming out this year um i think I mean, yeah, the 20th anniversary is not for another three years. So I, I don't know. I don't know. Three years away is. from it. <laughs> Hell no, dude. Don't tell me that. <laughs> but yeah, man, just I mean, that that movie, if you you know, if you want a good drama that just looks good. And I think, you know, with the way the Coen brothers they're, to me, they're like masters of cinematography, man. Agreed. I think that uh, it would it would honestly look killer on 4K and give me a good steel book with that one, too, especially since I've been waiting so long. So I would definitely yeah. say No Country for Old Men is my is my number one. I, I have yeah. a few others here, but that that definitely takes, you know, that's a cherry on top for me. Yeah. Um, speaking of, I wanted to shout this out real quick, completely unrelated to our episode. Um, but did you see I got the Wonka steel book? Yeah, you were talking to me about it. I didn't. I, I dude, did. You get? Did you get it in in hand yet, dude? It's probably my favorite steel book that's not premium on my shelf. That thing really? is freaking beautiful, man. That thing is gorgeous. What? Dude. So, do you have it right now? I can oh, go it's grab it. It's, it's right over there. I can go grab it real quick. I posted some pictures of it. Yeah, actually, let me go grab it. Yeah, yeah, go grab it. it. Yeah. And uh, just to fill this in, and and Chase isn't gonna see this, or maybe he will see this when the episode. Uh, uh is is live is he'll buy anything even if it's a movie he doesn't care about seeing he'll buy it um right, i'm not man. talking shit about chase right now by the way <laughs> dude <laughs> you look can check oh man okay yeah that's that's what makes it oh yeah dude wow take out my digital code so nobody did that come with the slip cover though or no no see if it did man this would definitely be Probably I thought it, it had a slip cover that made it seem like it was like the chocolates like were underneath it, like a, like a box of chocolates. I could be wrong, but Mm-mm. I, that'd be cool. But man, yeah, it's just got the texture to it. Everything, man, it's just an action. That's yeah. Gorgeous. You know what, though, I'm man, the movie that is probably <laughs> one of the better seal books I have seen. Um, yeah, just because and I, I have noticed they've been doing a lot more. Uh, uh, different distributors like a lot more like kind of like the embossing and stuff they because i i did that i think i put a video up for that uh all quiet on the western front mm-hmm. i got that steel book and that had a whole bunch of embossing on it too which i appreciated i'm like man they're actually like kind of stepping up their game um but the, yeah that that steel book is gorgeous i was just yeah. kind of talking shit about you how you'll buy movies that you don't even care about seeing <laughs> yeah <laughs> i haven't seen wonka yeah, yeah, but you didn't even so want to see it. We were talking about it. You're like, ah, it's a musical. I don't give a shit. Like, yeah, but you I just still went out and got it. <laughs> yeah, dude, that freaking. I just saw the steel book and I was like, that's gonna be one that I'm gonna see on eBay selling for a hundred dollars, and then in two years time, I'm gonna be pissed off I didn't buy it. Probably, you know? I, I could see yeah. that happening for sure because it's sold yeah. out. I think at, at like Walmart, it was sold out, right? No, shout out. I I don't know if he tunes into here, but he is a very avid Discord uh, member. Earn. He shot me a message because oh, we were okay. in the group chat or in the voice chat talking one day, and I was mm-hmm. like, "Man, that Wonka steel book probably is like one of the most fire things I've seen just pictures of online." And he was like, "Dude, I saw it at my Walmart just the other day. If I go back there, I can go grab it for you." I was like, "You saw it in Walmart?" I was like, "I thought it was it sold out online." He's like, "No, yeah, they had two. So then he doubled back the next day, shot me a picture. He's like, "Told me how much it was. Boom, it was here in four days." Wow yeah shout out to him man that's awesome yeah yeah Good dude because it is sold out i think it got one restock and then the second i think hasselhoff shout out hasselhoff for holding down the sales threads but um 
he posted it in there, and then I think I checked it ten minutes after, and it was already sold out again. Yeah, and I mean, shout out to everyone on the Discord and, and the Reddit too. But um, you know, the Discord, a lot of users, especially with this like whole Walmart five dollar steelbook thing, man, everyone's been uh, kind of having their each other's backs. You know, texting each other like, "Oh, this one's here. Do you want it?" And yeah, I've been seeing a lot of that, which is really cool. Um, so if you guys aren't a member of the four K Discord community. Uh, check out the reddit we have a link there for the discord because it, it is cool to kind of you know talk to other people but everyone's looking out for each other man for releases make sure that everyone mm -hmm. gets what they want so uh join the discord if you if you want some of that so um chase i think so yeah no country for old men that's my number one yeah uh, and that is a fire steel book by the way uh so <laughs> number two so if you had to pick a number, number two. two most desired 4k what would that be I talk about this all the time, and like I said, like Planet of the Apes, don't need to go much into detail. That's tied at number one. I can't put it down to number two because if I get either one or or, I'll be happy. <laughs> so believe it or not, it's the original 1990s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trilogy, man. Oh, I dude, need that, that dude. I didn't even think all about practical, that. Cool, everything like that. It's gonna scale well. I like all of them, dude. Even the third one, I think it's goofy, can't be fun. I need all of them in a trilogy. If we've already got the two new ones in 4K, there's absolutely no reason we shouldn't have that one. Um, I think it would scale well. The HDR would look good. Um, I think it'll even probably bring out the more vulnerable elements of the movie, you know, yeah, being restored sure. in 4K. So I think it'll be really cool being able to see the tears on the turtles and everything. Um, it's just, I love those movies. And some people argue, like, because I talk about it all the time in the Discord, and people are like, well, it, those movies don't hold up. I fucking disagree. <laughs> I <laughs> think they're just fun, man. Memories. I mean, it's not the, Space yeah. Jam, dude. <laughs> it's not space you know, jam, where it space doesn't jam hold up. you know space jam is like one of those movies though for me it's like i mean i'm a huge michael jordan fan i grew up I watching the bulls yeah. like so i mean for me it's like nostalgia but i mean i, yeah. I could admit how crappy the movie is but yeah. i mean when you go back to ninja turtles i i i think it holds up man i think it's just yeah. like can't be fun you know what i mean yeah. like i love the characters i love just like like you said the kind of practical effects of the movie mm -hmm. which would i mean the, the the transfer would bring that out you know beautifully so um yeah it, it would look amazing um yeah. especially the darker scenes too a lot of times when they're in the sewers and everything like that yes. give me some good hdr with that and uh, you have a solid release especially if they did like a trilogy set that would be perfect the steelbook it, trilogy set yeah <laughs> There's no way because like so many people this I've I've realized a trend on that. So like so many people absolutely despise the third one, which I think it's watchable. I think it's fun for what it is. They it's took a fun. Risk. Yeah. But they're not gonna go out and sell that one individually. They're gonna do the typical route where it's like, well, I only want the first two, but it's a four pack or a three pack. You know what I mean? Yeah. To get it to push more units. It's gonna be a three pack. I I'm calling that public. I'm right fine now. with that. I, I mean we too. we kind of talked about this with a uh, um which one was it? Was it Ghostbusters or yeah, I think it was Ghostbusters because they like said yeah. they sold that set together, and people were like, "I just want the first one." It's like, screw you, yeah, just yeah. Take, get the whole series. You know what I mean? It's it's yeah. like I, I get you know you buy what you want to buy. I get that. I think people should have the option, but I think with Ninja Turtles, man, you need to put that as a trilogy set and yeah. give us some solid steel books for that. I I that probably be a day one purchase for me too because I Agreed. grew up watching those movies, man, on on repeat. Yeah. Like yeah, we had the VHS. I still got the was, VHS is right there. Do you? Oh my Hell god, yeah, dude! I, do. I don't know DVDs what happened to our VHS. VHS. Like I, my parents got rid of a lot of our VHSs, but like I, I think Batman, Batman Returns, and Ninja Turtles were like on, near the TV all the time because like my time. parents would just pop those in all the time just to kind of keep us preoccupied. And yeah, yeah the, those movies are close to my heart, man. The original Ninja Turtles are sick. That yeah. would be. Sick. And I didn't even think about that. To throw this one out there, because um, I know a lot of people um, give this one love as well, but I wouldn't be opposed to a four film set, including TMNT, the animated movie, because that movie is mm. actually pretty fire. The one where it focuses yeah. on Raphael a lot. It's actually yeah. a pretty good movie. I wouldn't I be think opposed that'd be to cool, a like a little kind yeah. of supplemental bonus disc or something like that. Yeah, I that would be, be cool. Honestly, they can. Who who has uh, rights to Ninja Turtles? Who, who Warner should... Brothers. I'm pretty Warner sure. Warner Brothers. Yeah. At that point, all of those movies were made by Warner Brothers. I think that that yeah, I mean, they have the you know, capacity to do that. I honestly, I'm mean, that's another one that's kind of surprising, man. And we keep talking, you know, as we bring up movies, that it's just weird that oh, it's New Line. So I mean, New that's Line, Time Warner. Warner. Yeah, yeah. Um, how's it? Yeah, dude, like some big franchise, like even Ninja Turtles. It's like, how do you? How is there not a 4K it for this? It would sell man? out, man. It yeah, would just dude. Be rabid. The pre-orders would go crazy for that, a hundred percent. And like I said, give me a Steelbook trilogy with that. I'd put that on my shelf in a heartbeat. That'd be Agreed. so fun to watch, man. Because I haven't seen I haven't seen them in a while. Yeah, that, that 
that would be cool. And and Warner Brothers, honestly, to me, I mean, they're a studio. I a Sony, Sony and Warner Brothers are like probably my favorite in terms of like the major studios that do the transfers pretty well. They they um, hit a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Very a lot pieces. of them do yeah, they do really, really good job. So I think they'd kill it with Ninja Turtles. That's a solid pick, dude. I, I didn't even think no. of Ninja Turtles. That's really, I'm really clamoring good. for it. Yeah. I really, you're like really want... for it. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> until I think about Tron and Planet of the Apes, uh it was Toxic Avenger that I wanted the most. Until mm. then after that, it was I was talking about I need Ninja Turtles. I need Ninja Turtles. Because somebody posted the announcements threads three months ago that they were coming out with it in Japan. But it ended oh. up just, they got confused. It was in a black case, but it was just a Japanese exclusive Blu-ray. Oh, in a damn. black case. And I was like, that oh, sucks. I was so excited. And then it ended up being a Blu-ray. Well, some of those, but, and yeah. it sucks. So those, the ones from Japan sometimes don't come with like the subtitles uh, subtitles and everything like that. Sometimes they'll just be, I mean, a lot of them do, but sometimes it'll just be like Japanese audio over the, uh, the movie, which kind of sucks. But yeah, that'd be killer, dude. I think that'd be a great freaking release. And the fact that you have Toxic Avenger before you got Ninja yeah. Turtles, that's mind boggling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know you love Toxic Avenger. I'm not trying to yeah. shit on it, but I'm like, the fact, in terms of like, you know, popularity, I think Ninja Turtles yeah. would, you know, hold that hands down. Yeah. Um, Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Definitely a strong, any of them. I don't even give a damn if you just give me the second one at first. I, ideally, like we said, a pack would be great. Yeah. But um, yeah, just give me a, any of them. I mean, wait. That's a, so, fun, that's a fun pick, dude. Maybe next year. Next year will be the 25th anniversary of the first one. So, yeah, maybe. I and I hope they don't stagger the releases. I hope it's not like I mean, yeah. I don't get me wrong. I'll get excited if the original comes out, but it's like, yeah, if it's just going to be like, oh, here's the original, then you know they're just going to stagger the releases for the other ones. Yeah, and that's going to suck because it was 1990, 1991, then 1993 for the first three. Mm. Yeah, dude, I'm excited for that one. That that'd be I'd buy that day one 100. percent yeah, exactly. It's a solid pick, dude. Um, I think. I mean, so my second one. I don't. Did you ever see There Will Be Blood? No, with Daniel uh, Day-Lewis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude. Uh, so I mean, I, I I can't talk about it too much, but that that would be my number two. I think there was a real uh, there was a rumor going around uh, late twenty twenty three that um some website had put a listing for it for There Will Be oh, Blood. Really? Yeah, and I, like I, I got some, release. Uh, bro i'm shocked they don't have that as a criterion release i mean anyone that wants to release it on 4k please do um I, honestly dude that's one of my i probably top 10 for sure of the past two decades um is there will be blood um along with no country for old men there will be blood dude it's it, it's another example it's just you know it's i don't know if he shot on a 35 millimeter or 70 millimeter Mm-hmm. Um, but it it's just super super clean. There's a scene in there where this oil rig goes on fire, man, and you got this like crazy weird horse kind of score that's going in the background, and the flames are in the sky, oil's falling on people's faces. Like, damn, it is freaking beautiful to look at. And I'm like, I need this in 4K. And honestly, uh, that's probably one of the best, if not the best, performance of daniel day lewis i've ever seen or or one of the best performances i've seen on film period to be honest with you like he's completely lost in that character um yeah dude it's such a fucking good movie and i'm shocked that's another one but i think that's another paramount um vantage release and i don't know what's going on with those yeah i I don't know what the hell's going on with them man and it it came out the same year i could be wrong i'd have to google it i think it came out the same year as uh, no country for old men did Yes. they were contending yeah at the oscars um but dude yeah it, it, it's such a phenomenal movie i i think it's probably uh, some people debate me on this i'm not sure but it's probably ta- uh, paul thomas anderson's best movie um, i was gonna ask you like did you get to see licorice pizza that was his most recent one yeah i liked that movie it was fun it was it was really it was a lot of fun um i i don't think it hits like you know the level of like there will be blood or you know um the master and movies like that but i i think you know there will be blood dude i, I you might like it a lot dude because i mean it's a drama but it has a lot of like i said like the the soundtrack sometimes that kicks in it's kind of like almost this horror-esque kind of soundtrack and it's just like just a really disturbing movie in a way even though it's a drama so i, I think you might like it um i'll have to check it out it's two hours and 38 minutes man is it yeah holy crap dude i don't feel at least when i watch it and then you got a it felt like an hour feels like an hour so i mean you got you got 
uh, and who else is in it? Um, oh my god, why am I blanking on his name, dude? Riddler from the Batman and Swiss Army Knife. What's his name? Um, oh, it's got him in it. I forget his name. Oh my god, dude! I was dude, that his dude name. looks like he's like eighteen. Was he really acting that long ago? The uh, guy that plays Riddler in the, you're talking about the new Batman, not Jim Carrey. Yeah, I'm yeah, the new Batman. <laughs> yeah, that's Jim, Jim Carrey. Carrey's in there. Yeah. Will be blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He'd be like, oh, Damn. then, yeah. I, I he thought was, that was like maybe his first role, dude, in Batman. Paul Dano. I always, I always yeah, forget. Paul Dano. He's a great actor. I always forget his name. I don't know why. But yeah, dude, he honestly, one of his best performances as well. He's 39, bro. Bro, looks he's like 39. he's 18. So that's, yeah, this yeah. came out a while back. He was younger when the, dude, they play off of each other so well. I'm going to have to put this on a versus video for you to watch. There will be blood because it's honestly a freaking fantastic movie. It's, it's messed up in all the right ways and i i love the ending for it, it it's a great film so that I, I think that's a good it's just another example i don't want to go on it too much because i kind of went on the same you know uh lane with no country for old men it's shot on film it's a crisp clean you know that the blu-ray looks great but you know I, I think the 4k would just bring out a lot of that hdr element and the uptick with the uh the detail uh with the resolution so that's my number two. It's it's really close tied for number one too. It's it's one of those movies, No Country for Old Men. But I've you know I've read the book for No Country for Old Men, so I kind of you know that one resonates with me a little bit more. But There Will Be Blood, number two, and I'll probably put that on a versus video for you because you need to watch that. That's a classic. I still need to watch. I was going down while you were talking about it, man. Um, Paul Dano, dude, I really thought the bat. I did not know about him before the Batman, dude. Like, really? Crazy. What? Dude, no way, no dude. About him. I didn't wow. realize, like, I probably just like name recognition. Like, I know I haven't seen Swiss Army Man. It's on my list. You know, it's it's supposed to be like a more prestigious A twenty four movie. I remember when it yeah, came out. With, it's a good. Um, I think I called it Swiss Army Knife by mistake. So Swiss Army Man, yeah, with uh, yeah. Daniel Radcliffe and Paul Dano. So a solid movie. You've seen dude. That? It's oh, okay. it's weird. It's weird, right? it's, it's weird yeah. as hell. But yeah. I mean, honestly, it's a really really good movie. Yeah, I want to watch that one because I remember when it came out. I remember seeing it on because it's like I'm pretty sure in the trailer it's got him like writing him. In like yeah. the water or something like that. Yeah, There's it just looks funky so stuff that happens. Dude, I don't want to say anything. And I think it's from yeah. the um the people that did everything everywhere all at once. Uh, the Daniel the Kwan. Dudes. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, the two. Dudes. What are their names again? Uh, Daniel the, Kwan. The Daniels. And, yeah, yeah. The Daniels. Yeah, they they directed it, dude. So if you if you liked everything everywhere all at once, you'll like Swiss Swiss Army Man. It's it's yeah. weird as fuck. Honestly, you will probably love it. You should probably watch that one too. Um, Hell yeah. But yeah, dude, no country or not no country. There will be blood is definitely on my radar, and it and it looks like it might happen soon. Like I said, a, there was a site that had it up. I don't know if that listing is still up, but there wasn't any date on it. But I mean, there might be some traction with it, so we'll see. Yeah, I couldn't find anything when I did a deep dive. The only thing I could find was on the Reddit somebody asking about a follow up, but with no link for the listing. So mm. let's hope, and that'd be a pretty solid looking um, steel book. Um, oh, dude, that would be amazing. I mean, with the new Paramount Presents label that they've been doing with like the premium cases and stuff like that, with the fold out mm -hmm. art and everything, you never know. That could be one of their things that they're doing on there because they've do been it going for through both. a lot of westerns. Yeah, dude, no country for old men, and there will be blood. And I honestly, I'll be happy. Like if that, if that's all I get out of this list, like I will be content. <laughs> yeah, I agree, man. <laughs> What's yeah. your next pick, dude? So Number it's a little three. bit of a toss up. Um, probably for just a more. Not just general, what I think will like make what makes business sense. I think the three things I've thrown out there makes financial and business sense on their end. And it's mm -hmm. not like an obscure movie that's like, do this. And, you know, like this one's more of just a, a selfish one. And I know it'll sell decently because it's actually in the Criterion collection, but that will be The Brood by David Cronenberg. Mm, yeah. um, it's one of his most pure. Um, and I can't believe you haven't seen it, man. Um, I, no, I think I you would it. actually. I think we were going really through the like Cronenberg it. list and that was one that I hadn't seen. Yeah, dude, that is one that you will really like. So it's very psychological and it de deals with like a lot of like um, psychological analysis, like some therapy and stuff like that. It's very, very in-depth in mm. that world. And it's also very different. It's about like dissecting the mind of a child. And um, it's one of Cronenberg's most purest slashers. It's really the only movie that he's ever done that I could categorize as a slasher. Even hmm. over on the YouTube in my ranking video, dude, I only gave five or six of his movies an S ranking, and that was one of them. That movie is a perfect slasher. That needs Damn, more. Damn, seventy nine. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Came out it a while is ago. So good. Yeah, and I think it would transfer really well, and especially it's not like the Criterion Blu-ray <clears throat> looked amazing. I have it over there. 
Um, it just HDR really would elevate that. It's got some brighter scenes. It's got a lot of dark scenes. You know, it's got a good amount of blood in it. Uh, a lot of like creepy scenes where like they're creeping through like dark corridors and stuff like that. I think that one right there, I don't necessarily think like a, a, a great sound mixing would really do it justice. I think even if you just stuck to like the standard stereo audio mix that's on the Criterion disc, yeah, it would be perfectly that's fine. That's just I answer really... my question. I was going to ask, yeah. I, I feel, didn't this come out on Criterion and like another one of his movies too was like um, Scanners? Uh, scanners, yeah, that one. Yep. Yeah, Scanners. He's got he's got quite a bit. Videodrome, Scanners, The Brood. I want to say the Criterion Eastern Promises or a History of Violence made it to the Blu-ray. I could be completely wrong because Kino Lorber did the 4Ks, but I wanted to say one yeah. of those two was on the Blu-ray um, of the Criterion Collection. Yeah. But <clears throat> yeah, The Brood, absolutely phenomenal movie. It's up there as one of his absolute best. I literally rank it up there next to like the Fly, Videodrome, stuff like oh, that, wow. Scanners. I, I actually, I think I gave Scanners an A. I'm not, I don't remember. <clears throat> it could be an S, but that would definitely be in there. And then I'm just going to throw another third honorable mention that ranks right next to it. Just because the Blu-ray is fucking impossible to get. But um, When Evil Lurks would be a great 4K with the dark oh, scenes. When Evil Lurks? Yeah. Fuck, was it, is it difficult to get? Didn't I send you the link for it? I mean, it's like 30 bucks for a Blu-ray, man. I'm not... I'm not. <laughs> no way, bro. Yeah. When I sent it to you, it was like $18. Oh, was it really? Was that the yeah, reason, bro? A? Hold on. Uh, let me. I know we Google a lot during podcasts. Sorry, guys. People love. Um, it. They like the clicker and clatter. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I I saw it on Amazon. I think it was a Region A. Um, I sent I see you the it here link on eBay for fifteen. Yeah, sixteen ninety eight. And Damn, I think okay, this well, is a Region. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see. Oh, it's not saying the Region on here though. I I think it's a Region A. I mean, it's okay. For some reason, I kept thinking they didn't release it Region A. Let me see. I'm you, looking through the details right now. Walmart. Yeah, 1698. Uh, yeah, 1698. It doesn't say oh, country of origin USA. Um, okay, so then it should be good. It, it should be good. I mean, for 16 bucks, I'd I'd take the risk. Honestly, I already I have it in. Oh yeah, it's in my cart still, dude. I have it in the safe for later <laughs> thing. <laughs> I put oh, it yeah. there when I sent it to you. Yeah, because I I really you had uh, put that movie on one of our versus videos. Yeah. Um, and I appreciate that Shutter is actually. Not only releasing stuff theatrically with a uh, late night with the devil, but now starting Such to put out some movie. physical media, dude. Like the like, shout out to them because that's really really awesome. Because that movie was really really cool, and I, I yeah, I think I had said when we were talking about it, I'm like I would get it if it, if they actually released it physically. Yeah. Um, so I mean, HDR would really help those really dark scenes, man, especially towards the third yeah. Night. Dude, sure when make it pop. You know, spoiler, but when you see someone getting eaten, you know, on the road, just like yeah. with the car driving by, like that's that would look sick. I mean, that would look really, really cool. Um, yeah, yeah, that's so. I mean, well, there you go. Not thirty something. It's sixteen bucks, which I I might actually oh, yeah. buy it after this. I think I saw the villainous too. It's another movie you recommended to me. That was. Oh, did on... you finally watch it? Oh yeah, yeah. I saw it. I think I texted. Do you know? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I remember that. Dude, now. it was freaking fantastic. Yeah. I thought it was like that would be a good one. It's it's peak like action cinema to me. Yeah. I mean, it's freaking amazing. I I think that one is on sale in Groove with the with the code for like eight bucks. Eight bucks actually without yeah. code. It's part of um their Easter sale right now. Yeah, I I'm gonna, I, I, oh, did you? Yeah, I'm gonna buy it yeah, too. Yeah. I, it's on my cart because you, after you yeah. reckon that that opening scene did it for me, dude. With the freaking uh, yeah. like the first it was the a first, first person cinema oh, Henry dude, that, style. It yeah. looks so cool, man. Uh, that did and the neon too. in the city, man. The HDR, those motorcycle chases, the car oh, sequences. Dude, that one. I don't think we're ever gonna get that one on 4K though. <laughs> dude, I don't know. <laughs> that's man. a, that's it's a, a, a second wind because it, remember, it, 4K most desired. Yeah, dude. Like that one's been getting a lot of like I would call it like back love on the mm -hmm. back end because uh, people are finding out that it inspired a lot of action sequences in For John Wick Three. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, once you tell people that, they're like, what? And then, dude, I have yet to find somebody that finds that movie not good. You know oh, what so I mean? It's so good, dude. It's, it's great. It's, really, it's well acted, too. I mean, the story yeah. is really good. It's well acted. Um, And, I, I mean, we did a video on this a little while back in terms of, like, people kind of exposing themselves to international uh, films. And, honestly, I think, you know, the J Japanese movies and South Korean movies, dude, honestly, they've been kind of, like, at least for me, I've seen a lot of people, like, you know, just kind of exposing themselves to them and, and trying them out and they've been immensely yep. popular so um yeah i think that's a, maybe a, a consensual one for both of us the villainous if you guys haven't checked that out it. yet that on a 4k I'd, I'd buy that day one too that one was a yeah. great freaking movie and it looks like when evil lurks is on blu-ray for 16 bucks oh, right. if you guys want to check that out and a 4k for that would also be <laughs> 
freaking awesome. fantastic. But this Sound. was all stemming from this was stemming from uh, the the brood. <laughs> my yeah. third pick, yeah. <laughs> we had uh, quite brood. a few honorable mentions off our th- or my third pick. Yeah, that's that's solid, dude. That's a that's a good pick. I mean, I I'm starting to kind of this is where I'm like, you know, I know I know No Country for Old Men. There will be blood were my top ones. Well, actually, this one. Let me shout this one out too, because I mean, uh, freaking Kill Bill Volume One, dude. Yeah, I need I need Kill Bill Volume One. That movie to me is just, I mean, another you you know I'm like a film head, so it's shot on film. That's gonna look freaking amazing with the HDR and the samurai mm-hmm. scene. The, the that with the blood splashing and her yellow suit and just everything with that movie, dude. It's like a HDR like eye candy. Like that movie looks freaking phenomenal. And I it, it's yeah. I don't know how I know that's been rumored though. I think you and I have seen like stuff the past. 12 months of it you know like i think it's coming out this year i think like it's coming out this affair year. is supposedly what oh it is. dude that'd be amazing if they gave me that oh dude that'd be freaking mm. incredible but yeah the kill bill volume one i i really enjoy volume two uh but it, it it to me volume two just kind of feels like an epilogue to me it doesn't yeah. feel like it's like the you know the the peaks of volume one but um if you just give me volume one i'll be super happy with it dude that, that that's honestly one of the I, and it's another one i'm shocked you know quentin quentin tarantino it's like these big directors with these films that still are not out on 4k um I, and i forgot who did that one i think it was miramax who was it? miramax yeah i think it was miramax yeah, so i want to say it was miramax a lot of those movies aren't even i mean miramax you could probably go down a list of those movies that aren't even out on 4k yet and i would say a majority of them aren't um so yeah, give me the bloody affair, dude, on Steelbook, and I will be super happy. Uh, there's not much to say on Kill Bill though, because I think most people have that on their and on their most wanted. It, right? I mean, oh yeah, for sure. Really slowly but surely taking away at his filmography. I mean, we've got Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, or yeah, Once mm-hmm. Upon a Time in Hollywood, um, Inglorious Bastards, Reservoir Dogs, yeah, Pulp Fiction. Um, I feel like I'm missing one because I want to say there's five of his on there. Aren't there? Uh, um. Reservoir see, Dogs, dude. Pulp Fiction, and Glorious Bastards. Bastards. Yeah. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Is that I think it? That's it. Yeah. Is that I'm it? To think. Oh, okay. I don't know if I'm missing any. I gotta look through his filmography. Can I think that's it. not on there, right? No, I would I would kill for that, dude. That's one of my favorite <laughs> movies. Like that's it's that's another no, one, you know, uh honorable mention. Hateful Eight too. Honestly, I'd throw both of that. I, I Hateful Eight is is to me it's it's an underrated movie. I think, I mean, I think a lot of people enjoy it, but I really, I saw it when it came out with the roadshow version where he did the, it was like a 70 millimeter screening with like a 20 minutes of extra footage or something like that. I think it's on Netflix. Now they have a roadshow version on Netflix, but it's, it's freaking one of his most underrated movies. That movie's freaking phenomenal. That's Um, one with Sam Jackson, right? Sam. I mean, he's in every freaking (laughs) (laughs) Quinn Tarantino movie. Uh, But yeah, he's Sam Jackson. They're just stuck in this cabin and you have these strangers and you don't know what the hell's going on. I mean, he kind of takes that from, uh, you know, the thing. Uh, he said he was heavily influenced by the thing. It's like, what if you just, you know, put strangers and put them in a room? Same thing with Reservoir Dogs, kind of same deal there too. But yeah, I mean, uh, his whole filmography on 4K is, is, you know, in my most desired list for sure. But the Kill Bill holds a special place in my heart just because I love the samurai stuff with it. I love the, it's there's great. a portion of the movie that goes kind of in anime mode um, yeah. that looks freaking phenomenal. So yeah, I, I that's definitely my number three is Kill Bill. Yeah, that'll be a great one, man. Um, it's been forever since I've seen Kill Bill, but I remember watching them when I was way younger. Like, oh, you should um, revisit it, dude. Yeah, it's been a while. You know, it, that had been the only Quentin Tarantino movie I had seen for the longest time. I remember liking them a lot. Like, um, there's a girl in there that has an eye patch, right? And then like mm-hmm. they're fighting in a trailer. I think that's in Volume Two. That's in Volume Two, yeah. Yeah, I remember that one. She was like the the other version of her, or something like that, or like you know the. the They're all like a squad of, of like of assassins, and she's pretty much getting revenge on all, all the assassins in that squad she used to be in because they they put a hit out on her. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. A solid movie, dude. I mean, you I think you might enjoy it now more, like when you're older. I, I revisit Kill Bill like at least like once a year. I'll watch it, yeah. um, and as I've gotten older, I appreciate it a lot more. I think it was pretty unique for its time when it came out. Yeah, definitely. And then um, I'm actually struggling with my fourth pick on this one, man. Really? I'm trying to think of what would be like my absolute most desired just in general. Because, I mean, I've got I've been really spoiled over the last few years, man. A lot of what I've wanted has came out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We got all the Mad Maxes. What was that? Two years ago. 
got freaking toxic avenger of all things yeah um, i know right? <laughs> you know and before freaking anything else that i listed that are major essentially major milestones um in that aspect the brood is definitely like you know and depending on who you're talking about I, I i guess a shout out to the fly i don't understand how that's like one of david cronenberg's most popular movies of all time and a mm-hmm. lot of people have seen that and it would just absolutely translate stupidly well to the format yeah i think that that would be easily a reference disc in the right hands and it's not out um it's not necessarily my most desired it's not my favorite movie of his but i respect it for what it is it's a very good movie i just think that that movie kind of shits the bed a little bit towards the tail end of the third act it just it just gets really like overly goofy and i know that sounds weird whenever the whole premise is a dude (laughs) turning into a fly (laughs) but um it just gets a little bit weird and campy in that aspect um but probably one of my most, 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 most wanted, um, all of the RoboCop films are about to come out, except the third one. So we're about to get two of those. Um, yeah. It would have been any of the Chuckies, but we've got all of that on there. Oh, I guess this one. I don't know how the hell we don't have Nightmare on Elm Street. Dude, yeah. Holy shit. I never thought about that. Yeah. And wow. supposedly, for people that aren't aware, I believe it was FNAC, FNAC, that leaked a listing for the 2011 or 2010 remake um with Ugh. jackie earl <laughs> is it harley or Haley? jackie earl Haley, Haley uh, from watching yeah, i always played too. yeah he's a great yeah. actor great actor great great actor and i don't think he did absolutely bad in any way shape or form as freddie no i i think um it was just kind of the plot and the premise of it was a mm-hmm. bit dull and like watered down but supposedly that's supposed to be the first one that we get for um nightmare on elm street that's the rumor it's supposed to be targeted a That's june weird. july release date so we will see when is uh i mean we, we i'm sure we passed the anniversary for the original at some point right nightmare yeah, on elm street yeah came out. what was, was the release date for it we even got exorcist before that yeah i mean that's um, that's mind-boggling i mean 19 well yeah 1984 dude is when yeah so that's out. supposed to be this year so yeah so like it. what the hell maybe there is a, a release coming out i don't know that'd be like i mean i suck at math dude what is that yeah. like, it's like fucking 40 years 40 years holy and crap, not even the first nuts. one and for some insight so i actually shout out planet chh i believe is his name i was scrolling youtube and actually a video that's what kind of what made me think of it he was talking about how there it, it would be pretty much the wrong thing to do because they did they did a poll where they put out asking like i'm sure maybe even you've gotten the polls i've gotten the polls before where they'll ask you like what kind of um information or what type of movie would you like to see transferred or whatever and the Mm -hmm. nightmare series was on there they said the nightmare films with an s Mm. they didn't say a nightmare film and most people are going to figure like he brought up a good point any of them even like i i'm not the biggest nightmare fan of film fan i think they are bad movies that are carried hold with me here i think they are bad movies that are carried purely by robert england if you had anybody else in that role and it wasn't just a a great practical effects you know like Mm -hmm. it's carried by the great practical effects with a bad story that is carried by every single time robert england comes up on screen Mm -hmm. it's just it's an actual treat to absorb right um i agree i can firmly believe that so if you did any of them outside of the nightmare remake you would have a much better chance of gauging the audience is essentially what he was saying. He's like, mm-hmm. if this is what you're doing, like he, he even brought up a great point and I agree with the, everything that he said in there. If, if you put this movie out and I don't think it's horrible, man, I don't think it's like, I don't think it's the worst remake. I, I, I think more remakes need to be given fair shakes. Like I'm a huge fan of the RoboCop 2014 remake. We were talking about that. I don't yeah. find it perfect, but it's not bad. I don't compare it to the original. I'm comparing it for what it's trying to do today. Mm-hmm. You know, I think if people embrace it for that, um you'll you'll get a lot further on these remakes one that is kind of okay ish bad is the poltergeist is poltergeist one but it still does things okay you know Mm -hmm. it expands on things but anyways back to the the topic at hand if you did any of the original ones before that even like freddy's dead or anything you'd gauge it a lot better because you're getting the filmic look the film restoration aspect not something from 2010 restored or upscaled and you might get people that are like, ah, it's the only Friday or nightmare film on 4K. I might as well go ahead and buy it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I think most people are going to end up buying it like that. Like if it comes out for a steelbook, I'll probably buy it. Otherwise, I'm probably going to wait for a sale. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And now they're not going to really get that 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 audience that they're really looking for. Yeah. Oh, there's demand for this. No, there's just not demand for this particular one. You could have released any of the other ones. My personal favorite one, and I'm actually a huge fan of it, is New Nightmare. The Have you seen that one? 
I've seen them. I've seen most of them. I don't remember. Dude, it's been fucking years since I've seen years. Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, it's been yeah. a minute. Yeah. New Nightmare. I've seen Jason so more than, than, uh, than Nightmare on Elm Street. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like I said, they're carried by really good. I think New Nightmare is one of the most solid ones. It's about like where you take the actors and stuff from the first movie and you make it meta. And they end up becoming Freddy's real. Like you father he- Heather Loggenkamp as her mm-hmm. character after nightmare on elm street and and freddie ends up coming into like her real world is is what oh it's yeah i think i remember that one yeah i, I, I remember the, I, yeah that sounds familiar but i gotta, I gotta yeah. watch it again dude it's yeah it, which installment is that that's number what that's like the second to newest one before freddie versus jason that's like the, the it was like 80s one, right like, like late no 80s? that was like the turn of the 90s to the t- uh, no it might have been 92 or 93 but it could have oh, been okay. the turn of the millennium but yeah that one's actually my favorite nightmare film and it's not everybody's but i find it good um and then while we're on the same subject it's an absolute shame that they haven't released the remainder of friday the 13th but they have a blu-ray block box set out there yeah i, dude, I, I always get torn on buying that that box set because it goes on sale every so often like every yeah. three or four months and i'm like let me i want to pull the trigger on it but i'm like is this gonna get you know some 4k transfers coming soon as or soon what? as you buy it it will yeah th- that's my <laughs> luck dude honestly it happens all the freaking time and like like promising young woman got a freaking 4k which i didn't even know about i mean until mm. recently um so it's it's weird dude i mean i i I'm shocked too. I, I it's really weird that they haven't, you know, just transferred those movies. But you know, mm-hmm. like you said too, it's like financially what makes sense. Because I mean, the, the you know, obviously the first, maybe the the first two would probably garner them the most, you know, financially. Mm-hmm. Maybe the first three, um, or up until the final chapter. Um, but like everything after that would start kind of, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're catering yeah. to a very niche market after the first maybe three or four of them. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't know. But I mean, I, w- I would personally, if they released a 4K set with all of them, I'd I would get it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd buy it all. <laughs> I'd buy it, yeah. yeah. So it, it's like, I mean, and I don't even love all the movies, you know. I, I, I really appreciate the first few of them. And then after that, they kind of start being hit or miss for me. And they start getting kind of campy and ridiculous. But I, I would just appreciate having the whole set. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's it kind of yeah, weird. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, the, it, it's, I it's love it. Of- yeah, it's got a lot of loaded extras. And another fun fact, um, they Scream was working on a Nightmare on Elm Street version of that. They were already doing their interviews for the extras and everything like that, but they were told to cease production and all interviews and everything on it. This was around 2018, before even the Friday the 13th one happened. What the hell? That's yeah, and weird. we haven't had anything Nightmare related. You know I what would I mean? buy, like, I mean, like, and I, and I like... I like Friday the Thirteenth more than Nightmare on Elm Street. But I, I would, I would definitely, I would buy a. I mean, if the box that looks cool enough, you know what I mean, and they put enough yeah. extras in there, I would get that. Yeah, exactly. There's just so many horror movies out there that like horror is one of the most profitable profitable things that you can mm-hmm. put out on 4K easily uh-huh. because you have people like myself that will buy almost all of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean the, the budgets are so low, and you just you milk yeah. it for decades. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, yeah look at the budgets for friday the 13th and how much money they've scored off these movies like it's 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 crazy you know it's a done deal like if they release a scream set for that one like i'd i'd get it you know what i mean so it Mm -hmm. it is kind of weird i i don't know man i might maybe this like i think you know prime day is coming up i think i saw it last time on prime day the the jason box set i might pull the trigger on it this time because i really don't know if they're gonna do it or not i i don't know maybe i'll get it yeah and uh, the what the first part one has been out for what two years now at this point yeah two two and a half years yeah Yeah. which by the way is not a bad disc i think we've talked about that on here before yeah we we did one weird yeah disc it's not horrible yeah it's just dark but what do you expect with hdr you know you had that filmic gray look it's gonna make it true black you know what i mean it just makes sense the problem is, and I think we were talking about this on the Discord and Reddit. I think it came up recently. I don't know who brought it up, but it, it, like a lot of people, and and no disrespect if, if this is your setup, right? I think a lot of mm-hmm. people will chime in and they'll have like a four hundred dollar four K TV where yeah. like the peak brightness is like you know they, they don't very know it's dim. like super yeah, very very dim because um, yeah. like even if you have an OLED, and I mean or, or even like a, a higher like you know the the new kind Q-L-E-D. of Q LEDs yeah the the yeah. Q LEDs like where the where the brightness is is higher than an OLED even yeah. those sometimes can't hit like the the peak brightness Little you know in terms of yeah i mean like you get a lot yeah. of cutoff with like the HDR 
So the, the image has to kind of compromise, you know what I mean? So you're going to get a dim image, but, but I, I, I'll hear people ask them like, what's your setup? And they'll be like, you know, I got a Samsung, you know, $500 TV or $400 TV. I'm like, dude, like that's just going to be kind of the setup. And yeah, I mean, it, it's, you know, obviously get what you can afford. I mean, we're mm -hmm. not telling people like, you know, spend thousands of dollars on a setup because people will do that. Um, but it's, mm -hmm. you know, if you do, you, the, the more you, you invest into the technology, the more you're going to get out of it. Yeah. I think that's with any hobby, you know what I mean? Whether it's cars, whether it's, you know, you and I are into guns. Like, I mean, like it, it, tons of yeah, different, yeah. you know, hobbies, watches, like the more you pay into the technology, the more you are going to get out of it. Yeah. Yep. So, I mean, I think that's the same thing with 4k and that disc, it, it, it's kind of like heat. Heat was really dim too. Um, I've heard I that universally. Yeah. yeah it, it's no really, really dim. Yeah. It's super yeah. dim. And I, the, the, the transfer itself looks solid, like in terms of like the, you know, the uh, resolution and the accuracy of the image, but yeah, it just looks super freaking dim. I don't so know. Let what me ask there. you, did you, do you, have you popped that into your 820 since you got it? No, I have not. I'd be I'd be uh, curious to ask you with the about, HDMI uh, or exactly. HDR uh, optimizer and see, yeah, because yeah. it's like the HDR optimizer is interesting. I know we're kind of going off of a tangent here, but it, it's like I, I really only like using the the I forget the the order they're in. The first two settings, HDR brightness and luminance, I believe is what it is. Uh, yeah, I don't know, like because the first two I think are like the most accurate in terms of image. I think after oh, that it's one. like. Yeah, like the, after that, it's kind of like you're getting into, which, which I understand, you, you know, when you're watching almost. daytime yeah. viewing, it's like you need something a little bit brighter. I get that. But I try to keep it the first two settings just to keep it as accurate as possible. But yeah, that, that'd be actually bringing that up. That'd be cool to kind of pop in and see if the HDMI, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I keep saying HDMI, uh, HDR optimizer is, is something that could fix that. Because uh, Friday the 13th, I'm sure for sure that that's something that would help. I think if you tweak yeah, the did. settings on Friday the 13th, it would help one. a lot. Yeah. yeah. It made it a little bit gray, but I have that heat steel book that's steel sealed, bro. I still need to watch it. Oh, have it. you ever seen the movie? No. Nope. Oh my god, I'm about to leave right now, bro. No way, you have not seen heat. I have oh, not seen dude, heat, bro. It's, it's, so, it's if you... so. I have a theme coming up for all of those types of like you know not really gangster movies. I have yeah. so many that I've got to catch up on. It's been bro decades since I've seen freaking Scarface, bro. I was so young when I saw that. Oh my god. So I got to rewatch Scarface. Year, <laughs> I got I got to uh I've never seen Godfather, so I, I have that though. What? But, yeah, I've never what? seen that. <laughs> what? Hold on. What? What the hell? What? I've You've never, never seen, seen the Godfather. The godfather? No never, bro. Way. I've, I've had the four blood. Case. The, the next verses is the Godfather, dude. The Godfather. Okay, I'll yes. watch it. So I I will oh my god. I have a theme coming up where a whole month I'm catching up on like what's the other one um with robert de niro um not heat the heat, other one you got uh i mean there's so many good fellas you got good fellas yeah good fellas good fellas so all of those because those are longer movies man i've got to find so much time and i've got they to are and, and boom, it's a lot of dialogue you know? i mean you know what i mean like i mean they they have their little shootout moments here and there but it's yeah. a lot of dialogue that, that pops up with them but dude oh my god the godfather you haven't seen yeah. it. dude the the Never. godfather is probably and and i have it on my letterbox i don't know who which one is i think the Godfather is probably my top movie of all time. Um, but I, maybe The Dark Knight, just because I'm a Batman fanatic and I have a yeah. hard on for that movie. But like the, the Godfather, for sure, if I had to look at it as objectively, is probably my favorite movie of all time. Yeah. Tied with number two, by the way, because number two is just as fucking good. So, damn, dude, I did not know that you've never seen The Godfather. That's that's <laughs> insane to me. Holy yeah. crap. I bought it. Jesus. Do you remember whenever, like, I think it was on some kind of Prime special? It went down to like $37 for the limited set or the, just the, the, the regular box set? The, the 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 regular box set the one that's oh, okay. kind of like the apocalypse now one where it kind of folds out and stuff like that or whatever. yeah i haven't opened I've, it i i've redeemed the code oh, but i haven't looked man. at it in a while i have the limited set and i have the the steelbooks for it um, oh hell yeah yeah but i haven't, yeah, I haven't I opened open the steelbooks yet um yeah dude I, I i know we went on super tangent with like uh, horror movies and unreleased stuff and hdr and <laughs> all that crap it all correlates. I, yeah it all People correlates it i mean i think yeah nightmare on elm street would that's a solid choice I, that's kind of surprising yeah. they haven't touched that at all um mm -hmm. and it honestly dude this could be a reoccurring segment to be honest because like, there's just so much content that it's it's kind of mind-blowing how it's not out yet yeah. um i think if i had to so the, these i'm gonna throw these in here well let me say this just these aren't honorable mentions. These are, I definitely want them, but I mean, everyone knows I'm a Nolan fanatic. So Memento and Insomnia, they need to get 4K transfers. That, that's all I yeah. want to say on those. Like those are fantastic movies and they need 4K transfers. But um, in terms of, we, you and I were talking about maybe throwing TV in there. Um, yeah. Because we've been talking a lot about, about the movies, but you know, I've been on like the True Detective season one uh, 
thing yeah. for a bit now, dude. Honestly, one of the the best seasons of television that I've ever seen. Um, so t- True Detective season one and Sopranos, which yeah. was an interesting one because something popped up on the Reddit. I think it was like a month, month and a half ago, or someone About posted. That, yeah. Yeah, but I I don't know how real that was. Um, Sopranos, interestingly enough, was shot on film. Mm-hmm. Um, so that one would look pretty freaking phenomenal if they did a transfer for it. I don't know. Did you ever watch Sopranos? Mm-mm. I I can't ask you to watch it because it's so freaking long. Obviously, but I was gonna say I'm the, much less of a TV person. Yeah, I mean, TV is kind of hard to commit to. You know what I mean? Bigger but I, I yeah, it's a bigger investment. But honestly, I would say you you saw Breaking Bad, right? Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh, if you if you love Breaking Bad, dude, if yeah. you love Breaking Bad, literally it was just heavily influenced by the Sopranos. Like literally some of the quirkiness and weirdness of like Breaking Bad. Wasn't it, he a writer it, on that? I don't remember. Um, it's it, it's kind of a lot of people think Sopranos is like this like gangster kind of like, you know, like show that's just like about gangsters and the mafia. But mm-hmm. honestly, dude, it, it's really about it, it's you you have a, a mafia boss who's who's going to therapy. <laughs> um and he he's dealing with like just everyday life with like his family and his kids acting up and shit but he's like trying to maintain this lifestyle of being in the mafia at the same time and like balancing those two things out and it it, it's kind of like breaking bad right where he's like obviously Mm. he's delving into the meth and then he's trying to kind of keep balance with his family but they they were heavily influenced by sopranos and i think you would really like that show dude it's very quirky a lot of funny weird episodes that happen but obviously a lot of like the mafia stuff transpires too but that would look phenomenal on on 4K HDR uh, shot on film. I think it could really bring out. I I've been wanting to buy the set for a long time, the Blu-ray complete set, because that goes on sale quite often for Sopranos. But I just never pulled the trigger on it because I know they're gonna fucking put out a 4K set for it. Um, and True Detective, one of the best seasons of television I've seen in in a long, long time. Um, the writing and Matthew McConaughey's character in particular, dude. Uh, it's freaking gold it's so fucking good a lot of people on the discord channel were talking about it yesterday just how everyone says that you know matthew mcconaughey's character is like how i how i feel about life in general (laughs) um it's just so well written dude and it's so dark and i mean you'd probably love it too because i mean it deals with serial killers and fucking just some dark dark themes yeah just weird shit happening and it's it, the, the characters are just written so well. Um, and mm-hmm. Woody Harrelson, too. I don't want to take anything away from him. He fucking, you know, steals the show sometimes, too. So um, if that got a 4K release, I would buy that day one. 100%. And and shout out to you for giving me that uh, 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 the Creeperama uh, oh, the hoodie you know, referral. Like yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, I have that in my closet right now, but it's it's fucking it's a gorgeous hoodie. Um, yeah, hell yeah. And if, if that, that if that company. artwork if that artwork you know if you liked it the hoodie you'll like the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much because that's pretty much what the show is, man. It's it's a messed up, just sadistic, fucked up. It, it's it's crazy. Um, so check that one out too because that that one is only like seven or eight episodes, I think. True Detective. Yeah, it's pretty short, right? Yeah, and it's just like well, it's just a contained story within that season, so it doesn't follow up on the other seasons. So, um, I would definitely watch that. But yeah, if any of those TV shows hit 4K, dude, I'd be sold. I'd buy them day one. Yeah, that's very fair. Especially, it's kind of weird that they don't because Warner Brother has been the most, um, not really vocal, but the most, um, willing to put out TV shows in 4K out of anybody. Yeah. You know, Last of Us stuff like that, Game of Thrones. Um, Game of Thrones. I'm pretty sure Chernobyl was them as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Everything yeah, so on they, pretty much on HBO Max. Yeah. They did um Castle Rock. I mm-hmm. believe that. Um yeah, they're I think they're the only people putting TV shows out in 4K. Yeah, and like I mean a shout yeah. out to them too, because like I mean the fact they're putting them out on physical media and, and some of the steel yeah. books are awesome too. You know what I mean? I got the last of a steel book and um yeah. the Game of Thrones, the House of the Dragon, all that stuff. Um, all of that. Great steel yeah. books. So yeah, it's kind of surprising. <laughs> That they haven't Shout put out, out Paramount too. Yeah, they put out um. What I think you and I came to a consensus that it was the TV show of the year last year, but they put out um Halo on 4K for season one. <laughs> I was like, what did we agree on? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, the worst. I, if it was, if someone gave that steelbook to me for free, I would, I wouldn't touch it. Let's just say it'd be a coaster <laughs> for your Celsius. Not even. I would be like, keep it away from me I'm done. <laughs> and return the sender. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think I've got some really good ones. A TV show. I wanted to throw one out there, but actually, I was looking right here. You know, I like for our backgrounds for the episode and stuff, and it it jogged my memory for one. I don't know how I didn't bring this up, um, but for my TV show, it's actually going to be Mad Men. 
I really, really uh, adore that I show. I still haven't seen Mad Men. I Bro, think you and I Will were telling me it. to watch it. Yeah, it looks phenomenal. It's a great. Show. It's great. It's a lot more simple and it's a lot slower than most of every what everybody else might be kind of used to. Mm-hmm. So for the most part, um, it's just about advertising. It's 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 it's, it's kind of sleazy. Not like how we typically use that. It's not like a vinegar syndrome show. Like vinegar syndrome would get a hold of this in ten years and then you know put out a box set for it. Yeah. But it's just about the everyday sleazy life of a man that just like is infidelious. Um, you know, he was like a not more or less a war hero, but a war veteran. And you know, he's like a high ranking member of like the the advertising agency that he is in. And then for the most part, it actually goes through. So each season covers one year. So like you'll go through the civil rights movement, JFK's assassination as it goes through. Exactly. So it moves in real time. So that was kind of different to me at that point. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? It's not like 10 seasons and only like two weeks have happened in this person's life. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, So that one definitely do. I think it it needs a 4K. None of the Blu-rays that I have are perfectly serviceable to a degree, but it was I believe it was shot on film. I could be wrong, but yeah, that would be good. And then just a quick fire one, the original Godzilla, 1954's mm. Godzilla. Um, they do have one in Japan. It doesn't have subtitles. I'm not paying $100 for it. <laughs> like, yeah, dude. You know, I'm just not. It just needs to make its way over here. Any of them, really. I, I honestly would take any Godzilla. Um, and again, it's also in the same boat. Minus one has only been announced for an overseas 4K Japan. by Toho. I was actually just talking about this with my brother like yeah. a few days ago because I'm like, I don't know if bucks. I want to pull. Yeah, I don't know if I want to pull the trigger on it, dude. Because I mean, I, I I could see it coming here in six to eight months. Yeah, maybe. I, yeah. I don't know with how popular it was. I'm like, it, it has to be released domestically. Yeah, but that set is pretty freaking sweet to look at. Yeah. It looks gorgeous, man. I really, really wouldn't be able to complain about that. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just the biggest thing is like I don't know if those have subtitles. And I, at this point, I what saw minus one three times. I went and saw it regular Dolby and then mm-hmm. minus uh, minus color Dolby. Yeah, so, I saw minus color as well. It was yeah, fantastic. So like, if, if it gets that cut, it's just I don't want to take the chance of not getting subtitles because like, of course, I can watch it, still enjoy it, and stuff like that, just mm-hmm. on a cinem- cinem- uh, cinematography level. Yeah. But, what if I go to show somebody the movie? You know what mm-hmm. I mean? They're just gonna be like, "What the? What the?" You know, they're gonna have Google Translate out live. Yeah, thing, dude. You, know? you you need the <laughs> subtitles. I mean, like you said, you yeah. could just play it just to you know appreciate it, but you need those subtitles. But I mean, there's mm-hmm. been Toho movies that have come out like through Japan, and then like six months later they hit the states. You know what I mean? So like Which one. I, I, there's an article talking about it here. Hold on, let me see if I still. Because we it. haven't gotten any Godzilla. Because I still want the Godzilla versus Kong, the 1950s. Didn't Shin Godzilla do like? Uh, no. no, I thought that came. No. What? It was hell? a Japanese set. I'm pretty sure it I, came in I don't this. Have the article, um, but I was looking at. Hold on. It didn't get a 4K standard. It came in a collector's edition with the Blu-ray. So uh, you could only get the 4K by buying that collector's edition for the Blu-ray. It came with it that way. Ah, shit, I don't know, man. But I'm trying to find the article. Get a Blu-ray release. Yeah. Okay, it got a Blu-ray li- release, but not... Yeah. So Hold it's on, got the... See. Or actually, it looks like it does. Yeah, so you can buy God, Shin Godzilla, Godzilla Resurgence, Blu-ray special. Yeah, so yeah, it says it took USD 132 for days for Shin Godzilla to make it to North America. Um, yeah. So they're, they're, they were saying in the article that, you know, if, if you follow that time frame, especially with Minus One being a lot more popular... Um, that hopefully maybe by like, I don't know, maybe like uh, September or October that maybe we can get a release for it. But it, but it's hard though. Cause it's like, I I want, I want the set now (laughs) and and, and like, I don't want to, but at the same time, I don't want to buy it. And then six months later from now, it's like, Oh, here's the U S version, which, you know what? I I wouldn't mind if they did a U S version, maybe just swap the disc and put it in the other set, do a little fine thing or something like that. Um, because it's a nice little collector set for that minus one that's coming out over there yeah right? dude it looks it looks sick it, i mean it has yeah. four discs mm-hmm. and then you got the 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 booklet when it opens up it's just like uh godzilla with his like uh blue tail lighting up and the city just destroyed and the box set the slip looks fucking sick too yeah um it looks really yeah cool. it, that that thing is ah oh, dude i'm gonna i'm tempted to buy it <laughs> yeah um it, well, we'll it, see it looks great yeah it looks phenomenal um no those What's are your last one um let me see here i think i mean i think those are most and this is just more honorable mention just because i mean it, it's kind of almost like the nolan thing but like breaking bad is on i mentioned it with um 
and that was shot uh, on film, right? That was shot on film, and uh, I have I have the barrel set, the limited edition the, barrel you know, really that nice came one. out. Yeah, um, I have that, and it's more than sufficient. It's a great set. Um, the transfers are freaking phenomenal, but I would love a 4K Breaking Bad because honestly, that's probably Breaking Bad, Sopranos are probably like my top shows of all time. Yeah, um, yeah, they're just shows that really resonated with me, man. I really. Uh, Breaking Bad was like peak for me. I remember when that was coming out, was like just how hype it was, and the the story was just so well written. So yeah, Breaking Bad would probably be one that I would I would buy on 4K for sure. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sure there are other ones, man. Honestly, if we took time, we kind of just did this on the spot. But if we took time to kind of come up with like most wanted uh, 4Ks, that we could probably come up with like 20 more. Um, yeah, because there are easily. just so many that are out, and I'm sure Will has like you know 100 on his list that aren't even out yet. Um, so this may be like a recurring segment that we can kind of maybe touch on, especially with, you know, more titles coming out. And they they have been, like you said, you've been spoiled the past year. I think they have been doing mm -hmm. a good job at putting stuff out, but there's just so many bonkers stuff. Like when you brought up Ninja Turtles, I was like, I don't know how that didn't cross my mind. I, I don't know how Ninja Turtles isn't out on 4K. So I really um, don't understand it, man. I don't get it. <laughs> dude. It's, really it's a moneymaker for them. You know what I mean? It's like... Yeah. It, like you made a good point earlier where you're like, you know, talking about some of the Cronenberg stuff, you understand like, you know, financially, it may not be like the best move, you know what I mean? Or mm -hmm. even doing some of the nightmares like beyond number one may not be the best move. And a lot of people will buy it, but like, you know, something like Ninja Turtles is just easy money for them. So I, I don't understand how they haven't even, you know, touched that. It's kind of crazy to me. So it would uh, sell so well too, man. Oh yeah, dude, a hundred percent. I think pre-orders will go bonkers, especially if there's like a set. If they do like a steelbook set, and then just you know have them individually as well. Um, I, I feel like the steelbook set would sell out if they if yeah. they did something like that. Potentially like the sell Superman out. one, that one mm -hmm. I did the unboxing for. I would even do something like that if it was like the that'd be dope. The hard casing with individual yeah. steels. That's what I'm thinking Easy. of. Yeah, it's just like the yeah. old school Best Buy ones. Yeah, dude. If they yeah. did something like that, I'd buy it a hundred percent. Um, yeah, but I've got three of those up there. I've got Superman. I've got the the UK exclusive Mad Max one. I think it sells for a lot of money now. Oh those yeah, that one's pretty good. Because I get very nervous buying those because the steel books will come in perfect shape. You could get a possible spine splash. My one of my Supermans has small on it, but I just get so worried with the way that those things were packaged for the longest time about the dents. Yes, on the outside. They, they're very is a nightmare. Getting an exchange is a nightmare. They suck, dude. I have the ones for the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit, and they came mm -hmm. out pristine, fortunately enough. But like, even not even dense, but also um, when you put it flat on yourself, sometimes it's it doesn't sit flat. Like sometimes it might be yeah. like a little bit like bent to the side. Like the Hobbit, yeah. for some reason, on my shelf is kind of like a little bit kind of a not leany. crooked. Yeah, a little leany. Yeah. It's kind of like, but I mean, the, there was no dents, and it's all perfect. But yeah, like those. Those things look cool, but you know, in terms of practicality and and being on your shelf, it's kind of it kind of sucks. But um, yeah, yeah, and it's hard with those with those different packages, dude, to put on your shelf. Like I have so many weird box sets that I don't know how I want to organize them on my shelf, and you know what they look like or what I should do with them. The Star Wars one being one of them, I, I never know what to do with that thing. I just kind of throw it around, and it, it's more obnoxious than anything else. But yeah. There's a lot of good stuff out there, man, that could, you know, we, we could hopefully get transfers for and a lot of big movies too. like some of these that I listed off, at least, you know, No Country for Old Men and There Will Be Blood. Like, I, I have no idea how those don't have 4Ks yet. It's, it's mind blowing. Yeah, I agree, man. Hopefully uh, some of the distributors watch this episode, maybe, possibly, <laughs> hopefully. Yeah, please, please do. Yeah. Maybe Creeporama too. We can start sponsoring them with Tubi and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah right get some coupon Man, codes or something great, yeah like this mm -hmm. is one of their witch hoodies pretty much any of the hoodies you guys see me wear on here that has this type of design on it yeah um these are courtesy of creeperama as well um a lot of everything i absolutely love them i'm glad you got it because yeah. i've never gotten the, i just got a midsummer misprint from them and i think i showed you it they they sold it to me as a misprint but yeah, there's, nothing barely, with, there's nothing wrong yeah. with that dude that's, that's a cool thing about that clothes you know. it's like yeah, yeah it could be just like a little thing that's like off and like no one's gonna know yeah no one's gonna all. notice man so i got a way out of print midsummer hoodie that's 
this design. Uh, yeah. It's probably better viewable in some of the older episodes, but it's that design. Love it. Shout out Creeperama. If you go and you can get 10% off your first order, not courtesy of any discount code that we have, but if you sign up for email alerts. Uh, but if they, they want to give us a podcast. discount code, they're, they're welcome yeah. to and reach out to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. They absolutely. Did that, that, uh, that True Detective video was sick, dude. And my wife even said like the next, she's going to maybe keep an eye too on, on some future releases just to see. I, yeah. I, I, I wish I kind of got the Exorcist one, uh, but I mean, the, so the design just... Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it, it. I'm not too mad at it, but yeah, I'm. I'm definitely gonna keep an eye out though, just to see if you know there's other releases out there that they put out because they did the, that hoodie is pretty. It's 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 good quality, and the designs yeah. are sick. So yeah, and I know that's lasts, kind of dude. off topic. Yeah, I've washed it so many times. It still looks like brand new. Yeah, perfect, I mean, I think it's just like black. really sturdy in terms of how they print them. Yeah. Um, it's not just like a, you know, those cheap vinyl prints that a lot of hoodies use. I think it's like, they really kind of, whatever they do, it works. I mean, it's, yeah. it's on there. You know what I mean? It's not going to come off. So, yeah. um, maybe we should reach out to them. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Them, uh, great. I'll yeah. even drop their link down below if we can. Um, cause they really, they great. And typically when they do this stuff, they usually lim limit it to about 75 to a hundred pieces each, unless they open it up for 72 hour pre-orders and they know they can sell more. But they they are limited. So if you are interested in mm -hmm. any of the stuff, any of the videos you see me doing, I'm wearing a hoodie. It's courtesy of them. Um, yeah, ch check out, follow them on Instagram. They usually let you know 72 hours before things drop. They stay live for 72 hours. My Northman drop is coming in Monday, so you'll be seeing. Oh, that's gonna be sick. Yeah, Dude. that's gonna be sick. I love that movie. I'm so, I'm so excited for it. <laughs> I just, I mean, you know, where where I live, dude, it. it's just too hot, man. Like, that's the problem. Is like where Chase is at, he can rock hoodies from a good portion <laughs> of the year. Where room. I'm at, yeah. it's like it, yeah, maybe half a year or three, yeah, three months maybe. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. yeah. But I appreciate them. Like they're they're good quality hoodies, and I'll, I'll probably be you know keeping an eye out for future releases for sure. So yeah um absolutely. yeah man so we'll maybe we'll do this as a segment you know bring will in for the next one because i know he probably has a huge list of movies <laughs> yeah <laughs> that right. he wants on 4k um so yeah we'll try to keep this segment going i think it's a good one to kind of bring up and hopefully these come out you know maybe by the time the next episode is released who knows um, absolutely but let's in hope. that yeah let's hope and in that case guys we appreciate you listening um if you haven't already, give us a like, give us a subscribe if you've been watching our content and you've been keeping up with it. Also join the Reddit and Discord just to kind of get some more engagement from other co fellow collectors on there as well. Um, and as always, we appreciate you guys uh, for listening. Comment down below too with any like 4K transfers that you're dying for that we didn't list off. Um, I I'm sure there's there's hundreds. Uh, right. But yeah, comment down below and let us know what you want to see on 4K too. So um, we appreciate you guys and we will catch you in on the next episode. Thank you so much, everybody. Stay tuned for more great from screen to shelf content. See you guys. Bye.